So first off, congratulations, season four. That must be really exciting. Yeah, thank you so much. It's really fun. I feel like this season we really like amped it up. Uh, it's uh, we really have gone in a different direction this season. Really fun. Uh, I think I have to say I love Andre, but he gets. He's not the luckiest one in the group. No, Andre is so unlucky, nonstop, just beat up upon, just totally just beat down every moment of his life. I, I feel like Andre, when we don't see him on the show, is living a great life. So that's the only way I can kind of justify it. But it's funny, when you work on this show, I kind of come home and I'm like, I kind of feel bummed out. My wife's like, why? I'm like, oh, I think it's just because people are shitting on me for 12 hours a day. But uh, I think that this season we're going to see Andre kind of maybe make a turn, uh, open up his life a little bit, maybe find a woman, maybe, you know, see what happens. We'll see. Twists. I know, I know. Okay, so what do you feel is still the most surprising thing about the show in se up until season four? What surprises you the most? I think what surprises me the most is what our show creators, Jeff and Jackie, are able to do with the show. I mean, uh, you know, four seasons in, we are finding new things, and they find deeper, darker ways to get more and more depraved. And I think one of the things that I love about the show is getting to work with these guys because, you know, a lot of the dialogue is improvised, so we're able to really surprise each other. So you never know what's going to happen in a scene, and that really allows each scene to feel different and unique. And we know that, like, we can find something great. Like, oh, we got to do that. And then a lot of the times, even, like, a little moment that we find in a scene comes back, and the whole episode is about it. So that's really fun, too. And what do you feel makes a, a moment that just typifies the league? This is like the league. What's a moment that's just the league? To me, the ultimate league moment is, oh, then you're laughing, and then, then you're like, oh, that is gross, though. And then you tell your friend about it the next day. So it's like, it's like a multifaceted reaction. You're first shocked, then you're laughing, then you're disturbed, and then you must tell someone. It's like those people, they're, they're great to watch, a great show, but I don't know if I want to hang out with them in real life. No, you do not want to hang out with these people. Or you may want to hang out with them, but you do not want to be in a league with them. You do not want to be under their power in any way. Well, let me ask you a question. You guys are premiering at the same time as It's Always Sunny. Yes. If you could bring one character from It's Always Sunny into the league, who would it be? I'm going to say, for seniority's sake, the character that we'd have to bring over, Danny DeVito. Just because he's been around for the longest and is just a comedy genius. And no matter what he does... He just kills it. I mean, he's so funny and always sunny. And I feel like if he came over as his character, it could actually cause some really funny problems. Do you have a message for the fans as they get ready to watch the new season? Yeah. Take off your shoes because your socks are going to get knocked off. <laughs>